Todd McFarland here. Let's talk about the 30th anniversary that we are celebrating this year. Just began here in February. 30 years McFarland Toys have been around. Our first wave of toys is basically going to come back and bring back a couple of the classic figures that we had before. So look for them as we come uh, out through the year. We're going to have Spawn is going to come out first. Uh, so we've got two classic ones. First, this one here, this is from Adventures of Spawn. This is a redo of it. Uh, it was kind of cool, kind of fun. We did a whole set of it. And then this one here from the Hellspawn comic book, right? Based on the Ashley Wood artwork, looking really sweet. Uh, a couple of the hard ones to find. This one is wholly, wholly new. This is based on my cover for Spawn 311 that was basically a tribute to uh, Chadwick Bosman passing uh, a couple years back there. Uh, and this is Al Simmons basically doing his tribute post for him. So this is the brand new one that will be there. These figures here, all three of these figures down here, the gold label ones are going to come with a card. And if you flip over the card, you get an autograph, right? So each one's going to come out with a card like this guy. Here's the artwork for this one. And then you flip it over and you're going to get an autograph on the back here. And then we also have done, this one's already out, I believe here, the Fidgetal, which is we're doing uh, a lot of these with a lot of our brands here in which you get the actual physical, which is why we call it a Fidgetal. You get a, phys a physical product. And then if you redeem your code here, you scratch it off, you redeem the code, you can get a digital version of it uh, in your in your uh, wallet, uh, digital wallet here. So you get both this as a physical and a digital download. And then we've got, the one we're gonna talk about here is a two pack, right? And it's the first time, second time now in 30 years uh, that we're doing one that years and years and years ago when this one movie came out, I did a toy of me. Uh, and we're doing the second Todd toy, which was the name of my toy company that was out there. You get Todd, old man Todd, he's got his lanyard on. I got one of my shirts that I sort of wear. Uh, look at some of the accessories up here. I got a microphone because I'm up on stage a lot. And then I got my little sketchbook. And the sketchbook is a drawing of this other toy. Now, let's talk about this other toy right here, the Spawn. This is based on a drawing that I did when I was 16 years old. Uh, so the color of it wasn't quite what I ended up landing on it. You can see he's got yellow eyes instead of green eyes. I ended up changing those later. If I flip it over on the back, you can see that originally I had colored him blue. And then I decided a little bit later to make him red. Uh, and I had the outlines around the eyes and whatever else. So this is my 16-year-old drawing when I first created Spawn when I was a kid. And so you get the original... Todd McFarland, 16-year-old high school amateur one, and you get this one right here. Also, uh, they actually, I didn't know till the end, they sculpted it such a way that he doesn't have, you can take off the shoes, I think, so, because I do walk around uh, a lot of times with no shoes on. Uh, and then we got a couple of accessories that are here. So look for the two-pack, right? These are all gonna be for pre-order, right? At your some of the select retailers. I'm sure it'll be in the link here in the video. Go take a look at it and let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, go get it. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here and I am back yet again for yet another spawn news update. Listen to those words just ringing in your ears. A spawn news update where I'm not going, well, I made these again and. They're not great. I'm kind of stoked on today's reveals. Not going to lie. We have looked at numerous Spawn's Universe action figures in the recent year and a half, two years now. All of them have been either way. The first wave was pretty good into the second wave. And then from there, it was kind of like a mixed bag with them kind of resting in the form of, yeah, Spawn action figures have definitely lost their way. As a huge fan of Spawn in the 90s, liking those in-action figures, right? Quote, unquote, lack of articulation, all that. They didn't really start out that way. It was, of course, it was like a, a toy biz kind of thing. And then, yes, they went into very much pre-posed, minimal articulation. And it's kind of where Spawn really works for me. The multi-articulated stuff is cool, but the Kickstarter one 
is probably the best spawn action figure next to the 10th anniversary spawn action figure. And then you have little spawns and the characters mixed around where you kind of pick and choose which ones kind of go together. And they don't all go together. But at least the classic covers when they started that, that's when the spawn figures really started to look great. When Spawn represents the comic book he's based off of, that's when I think it translates the best to action figure form. When it has too many points of articulation, you kind of lose that magic of what Spawn is. Spawn is a very interesting character, and it doesn't always translate well. Into animation with the HBO show, sure, that totally works. You can get away with a whole heck of a lot more, because let's be honest... Spawn really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. When they do the movie and the live action, you see what you got, right? Now, that was really cool for back in the day. Does it hold up? I mean, it kind of does. It's more of the nostalgia factor. Do we want to see more new Spawn properties? Well, I know they've been trying to get a movie off the ground for quite some time. They keep talking about a Sam and Twitch television show. It would be nice. In fact, Netflix, just do an animated Spawn again. See, that's where you can really just accept this world that is just crazy, right? Whereas when you do it live action, there's too many. Well, that doesn't make sense. Oh, you're going to have to sell me on that. It's a whole mishigash of all of that. Whereas with the Sam and Twitch television show, however they're going to do that. But when hearing these interviews, when talking about it with friends, what I would ultimately like to see is kind of like an X-Files thing with two New York City police detectives, right? Sam and Twitch, and then they don't investigate like X-Files. They get thrown into that world, and occasionally Spawn shows up, right? That would be kind of interesting. Maybe they're hunting them. They're looking for a killer. They think it's Spawn. They think whoever this is, you see him in the third or fourth episode, right? And he ultimately becomes an ally. But it's primarily focused on the two cops. I think that that would make for a great show. Then you could bring in all the various wackadoo horrifying villains, right? Violator and such. But that would be kind of stretching and yeah, I really got to do it. You got to have the special effect. Yeah, a lot of stuff has got to be there. Whereas in animation, yeah, you kind of get away with a whole heck of a lot more. Back to the action figures though, or at least what we're going to be talking about today. This is going to be exciting, I think. I think that this is right up my alley, and I think for a lot of Spawn collectors, like old-school Spawn collectors, this is going to be for you. For people, again, wanting a overly articulated action figure, <laughs> it's not going to happen, apparently. They, they, they've done plenty, but it may not be exactly what you want. And if you want a cool-looking Spawn figure, go on eBay, because there are a ton. Before we get started, as always, I will have links down in the description below if you want to pre-order anything of what you're seeing now in this video. So, we'll kick it off. Just as Todd McFarlane was talking about in his mini-video at the start of this one, The Adventures of Spawn was a very interesting line. It was two waves of toys, and it was primarily done to kind of Mimic what was being done with Batman, the animated series, the new Batman, the animated all those animated properties that were taking more of that simplified look. So you got the adventures of Spawn. And they're very cool. And the Commando Spawn, I'll be honest, out of the ones we're going to be looking at, it's more towards the bottom for me. It's fine. It looks good. But it's not exactly something that's like, oh, I've got to have this. And out of the animated line, I don't have this one. So it might be a pickup for me, but it's kind of the one where I'm like, yeah, you should have started with Spawn X, Spawn 10, right? Maybe gone that route because that's a stellar design. But for those of you that like Commando Spawn, which in all the other action figures, it always looks pretty good. Now you have a more animated looking one, which does work on many levels. These are not going to be quote unquote articulated. They have minimal articulation, if any articulation. So I imagine, and what I see on the photos is that he's more of a three POA kind of thing. The arms are going to move, the head, maybe you'll see something in the waist. But yeah, largely he is going to be statuesque. And for me, again, that is where Spawn works 
the best. How are they going to feel in conjunction with the prior release Spawn figures? They're probably going to feel a whole heck of a lot different, right? You kind of have to imagine if they're they're doing with the DC Direct Batman animated line, and when you feel those in conjunction to what they felt like years and years ago, you're probably going to get the same thing. They're probably going to be a lot lighter, but who's to say, right? I won't know until I have them in hand. So if you want the Commando Spawn with his giant gun and his stand and... Minimal articulation, yeah, you can go ahead and pre-order them now. And one thing to point out, which I kind of like, is that they're bringing back the clamshell. That is the epitome of McFarlane toys. Clamshells were just the rage back then. And as I always say, you're not a true collector unless you slice your hand open on the plastic when you're cutting the box. <laughs> if you want Commando Spawn, grab him now. Moving on to the artwork of Ashley Wood. This one I'm actually stoked on because, and I really have to go back and check, I don't think I have this one. It looks familiar, but I don't think that I have this. I have the other Ashley Woods, but this one is the spawn with the big old Gatling gun. I have the one with the hand cannon, and he's all kind of statuesque, and he's doing his thing with the cape. This looks pretty cool, I got to say. Now, when looking at when Todd McFarlane was showing these off in the video, you can kind of see these may indeed feel a whole heck of a lot different. They do look a little bit different. They don't seem to have that chutzpah, right, that the previous one had. But that's just a video. That's just a photo. So again, it remains to be seen when you have these in hand. In terms of the pose, in terms of the look, in recreating Ashley Wood's artwork... It's pretty much there, I would say. I think that they nailed the wash on this thing, the pose, the Gatling gun, everything else. This is going to be one of those where I don't think he moves at all. If he moves, you might be able to position the arms a little bit, maybe, kind of, sort of. But I think that, yes, this will be a largely just static, pre-posed. You put the gun in, and, and you're on your way. It looks pretty cool. This is one that I do want because, as I said, and I will have to check the collection again, but I don't think I have this. I have the other two, Ashley Woods, the one with the big old gun, and then the Raven Spawn, which is a really nice one. So again, 30 years, anniversary, bringing back the Hell Spawn. More on that in just a few. I really want the Curse of the Spawn to return. Now, this one, I think, is the best. There's a lot of layers to this one. Again, it's issue 311, which was a bit of an homage to Chadwick Boseman passing. That's a really sad story, and it was really reflected here in terms of Al Simmons doing the Wakanda Forever pose, and now it's in plastic form. So again, it works on many levels. It's very respectful. It's very cool. It's very Spawn, and it's very Todd McFarlane, right? So you have just the statuesque figure of a Chadwick Boseman-esque Al Simmons kind of sort of deal, right? So maybe it'll go for your Marvel shelf if you wanted to go that route. The colors are great. This is, out of the three we just looked at, I think the most classic covers Spawn 90s figure, but now in 2024, which is so odd to say. The idea that the, the cape, you know, just beautifully kind of wraps around. You got the big old cape tassels at the top. I like how they kind of look like they're billowing. They did a great job with this one. Again, not going to probably see a whole heck of a lot of articulation, if anything. Maybe the head moves, something like that. You really get what they're going for here. It's not supposed to be anything but what you see on the cover. So again, if you want this 311 spawn, yes, you can pre-order it now if you so choose. Now to get to the big one, <laughs> which I was looking forward to this, the, the full thing being revealed, right? And then seeing all the various questions that are going to go along with it. And you did not disappoint. This is Todd McFarlane as an action figure once again with his original Spawn sketch from when he was in high school, right? I think he says he's 16 years old or something like that. So it was the beginnings of... Of Spawn. You can see a lot of Spider Man, Doctor Strange, little Ghost Rider. If you go back and read that old cracked magazine issue, right? Of course. So there's a lot going on. This Spawn to me is a perfect Spawn addition to my action figure collection of Spawn. If you're someone like me, all you Spawn collectors out there, I think that you'll be jumping on board for this because we have so many Spawn figures. 
but we don't have this one, and that's what makes it so interesting. I know a lot of new collectors or just people that are not into Spawn, they look at Spawn and go, oh, I wish I had a Spawn figure. I can see you going, I don't know what this is, right? And that's totally cool. This is going to be for those mega collectors out there or just comic book historians, right? Those of you that know the story of this, Todd McFarlane, yeah, it's a perfect two-pack. And it's a very interesting two-pack, and I think that that Spawn did come out pretty well. It looks to be a mishmash of maybe sort of prior release DC Multiverse parts. I kind of, again, have to wait till he's in hand. I do wish that they would have gone a little bit more heavy-handed with giving him powers and effects, new stuff, right? I think that that would have been the way to go. See, for me, in my thinking, you have the 30th anniversary of your company. It's a figure of the, the person that founded it with the original spawn Spare no expense, right, at this point. Todd McFarlane in the box, that's an interesting choice. <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to want that. Just in terms of having Stan Lee, now you can have a articulated Todd McFarlane, whereas opposed to the Todd the Bum action figure, Todd the Artist, that was just largely pre-post. Todd, this time around, he comes in his usual garb, right? You got the t-shirt with the Spawn logo. You have the convention lanyard, which is, again, something you see him with often enough. The Spawn hat. I like the overabundance of Spawn. It sells it. That's what I think about with Todd McFarlane, right? I like that you get the artist hand with the pen in there. You get the sketch pad, obviously, with that original sketch, of the first spawn, quote unquote, and just the sheer fact that he is barefoot with swap out shoes. For those of you who don't know, he kind of explained in the video, he likes to walk around barefoot. So I like that little Easter egg, but I could see a lot of people going like, what the heck is that? <laughs> but hey, that's what makes it a Todd McFarlane action figure. He's a little wackadoo and he embraces it. That's what makes it fun and that's what makes for a fun action figure. So you get everything in the box. The spawn gets some extra hands. Todd gets extra feet and hands. <laughs> a microphone for interviewing. I can see a lot of people really having some fun. I can see myself having a lot of fun in videos, right? If they go, hey, why is this missing on a DC Multiverse figure? Well, I'm going to ask Todd, right? He's right there on my shelf. The one thing I will say is that I've seen a lot of comments of people saying, how narcissistic to make an action figure of yourself from your own company. As if you wouldn't do that, I would certainly do that. And also, I love how most of you are saying this and you have your selfie series figures from Hasbro right on your shelf, right? Come on, it's his 30th anniversary of his toy company. He's brought lots of joy, have some fun with it. You can grab all of these now if you so choose. Right Now, something I would like to see for the 30th anniversary, which they're playing out all of this year, of course, they're going to do some remastered figures, but in terms of new new, I would like to see a Jim Downing spawn. I think that that would be kind of cool, it would make for a different take on spawn. He's a lot more sharp and pointy than a usual Al Simmons spawn, plus just the translation of that spawn look into plastic. That would look pretty cool. And then Curse of the Spawn, right? Daniel Yonso. I think that that would really make for a cool, updated 2024 Curse of the Spawn. I'm not one of those people who I need a ton of articulation. In fact, this is the best looking Spawn stuff that I have seen in years. Let's be honest. The over-articulation and everything else just doesn't work for Spawn all the time. First wave, not so bad. Second, you got the idea, right? So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to Spawn, simplicity, I think, is the key detail. You can't think about it too much. Because once you do, like everything these days, Star Wars, it all starts to fall apart. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.